Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's Dan here from Sports Cards UK, and in today's video, we've got episode eight of my MGC grading series. So if you don't know how this works, every month we send off 10 cards to MGC to get graded, and we get the cards back graded in this exact same episode. So there's already been seven episodes in the MGC grading series. Uh, the playlist will be in the description down below. So if you wanna go back and access uh, or view some of the uh, old videos, then uh, you can. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's jump straight into the video and see what cards I'm sending off to MGC this month. Okay, so for card number one, and I've kind of gone, if you saw the last uh, episode, I've gone very, very, uh, I've got a good variety of cards that I'm sending off. So we start with a bit of football. I've decided to send off uh, this Wayne Rooney Select. So I think this is his first Select card. Um, it's a nice one of him there. Look, looks like wearing the captain's armband. Um, but I think it is just a respect armband. Um, but yeah. Obviously, uh, I don't have to tell you about Rooney. You know who Rooney is. Rooney! Um, <laughs> very, very good player. Bit of a legend. Obviously retired from football now. Um, but uh, yeah, decent one of him in his England kit there. Just the base card. Uh, it's the, yeah, just the, the standard select there from uh, 2017, 2016, 2017. So there we are. Next up, uh, if you saw in the previous uh, video, I sent off a Mario card. I'm going to send off another one, or a Nintendo card, actually. It wasn't a Mario card. It was a, a link from Legend of Zelda in the previous video. But this one is a Mario one. Um, it's quite a cool one. You've got Mario. You've got um, Peaches. Um, you've got the Mushroom. And you've got sort of like the, the baddies in the background as well. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a bit... <coughs> <coughs> Bloody hell! I'm a bit of a um, <clears throat> bit of a nerd. I like my gaming, um, and I've always been a big Nintendo fan. I've always had Nintendo games consoles. So yeah, this Impel 1991 Nintendo card was a bit of me. I've got a couple of these, but um, they're all in pretty bad shape. But I kind of just want to see them graded, to be honest with you. Now for the third card, we have another football card. I've gone for a uh, Florian Vert. Sorry, not Florian Vert. Florian Neu. Neuhaus, Neuhaus um, who is a Bundesliga player currently playing for, he's still playing for Borussia Mönchengladbach, I believe. I don't think he's left them. Um, but he's sort of a young star that I think a uh, midfielder that doesn't really get a whole lot of um, spot. He doesn't really get much in terms of uh, hobby hype, but um, I think he should do. I think he's a very promising young midfielder with a lot, a lot of potential. Um, I do own one of his tops chrome, but I'm going to decide, I've decided to send off the future stars instead. Uh, this is his one of his earliest cards in this tops Bundesliga set. This is one of his earliest cards. Um, I think I've got a feeling this is the 2020, and I think the 2019 is considered his rookie. So this is actually, I think, a year after the one that uh, his rookie tops chrome uh, is. So um, yeah, but I thought this was a particularly nice one. Um, nice and shiny with the future stars on there. We've got a baseball card for the next. We've got a uh, Ronald Acuna rookie card. This is the Tops. I want to say archives, but it also might be Tops gallery. I think it might be archives. If it's not, I'll put it up on screen. But this is, um, yeah, a nice one of Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, a fairly cheap one. It's not um, an expensive rookie card of his. I've got a couple of rookies of his uh, on my eBay. Some Tops Chrome stuff. Um, and also some tops update, top series one, that sort of thing. But yeah, this is a fairly cheap one, but a nice one of Ronald Acuna for any uh, Braves fans out there. We're also deciding to send a, a Machoke. It's another Topps Chrome Pokemon card. I sent a Machamp in the previous um, episode, and I wanted to send this Machoke in this one. Uh, excited to see how this one comes back. It looks pretty clean to me. Um, and I do actually like these um, Topps Chrome Pokemon cards. They are a bit of me. Maybe because I'm familiar with Topps Chrome already, I kind of like the Topps Chrome logo on there. But as I said in the previous video, I don't think there's too many Pokemon fans, like real Pokemon fans. I don't think are fans of the, the Topps releases, but hey ho. Next up, one for the PC. We've got a Darren Till. Um, I said in 
previous videos before, I'm a big fan of Darren Till. I like all English UFC fighters. Um, I like him even more now that he's hanging out with Hamza. It's, it's pretty cool, the Smash Bros, as they're calling them. Um, but this is, his, uh, this is one of his Topps rookie cards. Um, I do have a Topps Chrome Refractor that's currently out with PSA, which I haven't had back just yet. Um, but at the time of filming this video anyway. But yeah, this is a nice rookie card of his. But this is the green parallel. So this is numbered out of 199. Um, hoping this comes back as a 10 as this is for the PC. But we'll have to see. Um, so excited to see how that one does. Next up, another UFC fighter that I like. This is Conor McGregor. Uh, this is his Crown Royale. I think I sent off a Habib in the previous uh, episode, but this is the Conor McGregor for this episode. Um, yeah, yeah, always been a big fan of Con Conor McGregor. I pretty much followed him from him starting in the UFC. Not as early as the Strike Force days, but at the beginning of the UFC, I definitely uh, followed him from then on. Um, me being an Irish myself, I was uh, yeah keen to uh, jump on the uh, McGregor bandwagon. But it's a pretty nice card of his. I think it's going to be difficult to grade with the edges, but we'll have to see. Next up, we've got an interesting one. This is a, a Jao Felix. It's one of 999. <laughs> so it's a pretty, a pretty big parallel in terms of there's quite a few of these out here. But I wanted to see how this one did. This is a Campione di Futuro. And I do have some smaller cigarette cards of these as well. Um, but you don't see too much. Oh, do you know what? Actually, there's loads of print lines. There's loads of whitening and stuff. I might actually have to pick a different card. I haven't inspected this too heavy, but I don't like the look of that whitening there. Let's see if we can find another card. I'll, I'll, I'll carry on and then I'll find another card for the end. But next up, we've got a Giovanni Reyna uh, Topps Living Set. This this particular release came out with loads and loads of poor centering. So um, this one actually had fairly all right centering. So I'm hoping the centering doesn't let me down too much. But yeah, interesting to see um, how this one does. Gio Reyna at the time of making this video is injured. Uh, which is a bit of a shame because he came back from injury, went on the pitch for about 10 minutes and came off injured again and was crying. Uh, and I felt so, so bad for him. He, I mean, you can see he, he loves football and he just wants to be out there playing. So, yeah, hope, hoping he, uh, hoping at least by the time of releasing this video, he's fit. But I'm hoping he uh, makes a full recovery very, very soon. Um, and then nearly finally because we're going to choose another card instead of this one. We have an Emil Smith row number to 49. I pulled this in my score opening. Uh, I'll put it up on screen if you haven't seen it already. Uh, but this is a pr pretty nice one. Um, I'm sure this will probably go for a, or go to a nice uh, Arsenal fan. Someone might be interested in this. Um, it's not, I don't think it's a rookie card of his. He's got a, I think he's got like a national, a national treasures or a flawless or an impeccable. One of those ones he's got a rookie card on. Um, which is, I mean, pretty expensive. But yeah, low number demo, Smith Row. I think that will uh, that will be nice in an Arsenal fans collection. It's not really one for me personally. So let me quickly find another card to replace this um, Jao Felix. I might have a base version that's not numbered, but we'll have to see. I'm, I'll be with you in a couple seconds with replacement. Okay, I think there's quite a few football uh, cards in there already. So I'm going to decide to go with this. I'm going to go with this. Um, Simpsons glow in the dark uh, card this is a particularly nice one I think it's from the skybox release in 1993 I think the first set that came out was that in early 90 I think the first set that came out was in 1990 um, so this isn't one of the uh, wasn't one of the earliest sets but the card started to get better looking from sort of 92 93 onwards um, but I think this is quite a cool one. I think that these marks here are actually on the, the sleeve rather than the actual card itself. Um, yeah, you can see it's all right. Um, so we're going to send that one off to um, to MGC and see how that one does. And that will probably be, uh, will be I think it will be a little uh, interesting one to have in the uh, the showcase. If someone walks past, they'll be like, oh, Simpsons did cards as well. Centering's not great, but um, we'll see how this one does. Why not? It's a bit of fun. So there we are, that's the submission for episode 8. We've got Simpsons, football, UFC, Pokemon, baseball, uh, Nintendo, and then a, a bit of Wayne Rooney with some legends in there. A pretty well-rounded submission, but a pretty cool one. Um, so yeah, I will join you in a bit once we have these cards back from MGC. Hi guys and welcome back. We have our cards back from MGC. Here we are. Here's the big stack of them. Um, let's get 
into it. So, let's start off with card number one. Let's take these to one side and then see if we can do this. There we are. So, we start off with the Darren Till card. Now, this is the Darren Till rookie card, which is numbered. It's the green parallel number to, what's that, 199? 199. Now, actually, I can see the corner is a little bit folded. Damn, how did I not see that? Okay, so let's predict that we're not going to get a 10. Oh, damn, we didn't get a 10. Okay. A 9? Can we get a 9 on this? This is for the PC, so it doesn't matter too much. But I would obviously like a decent grade. A 9. Okay, perfect. Brilliant. So it wasn't, it wasn't a 10, but it also wasn't an 8. A 9 I'm pretty happy with. I like the fact it says green. They've selected the parallel as well there number to 199 2018 tops knockout rookie card darren till highly underrated it's only lost a few it's only lost a handful of times in the ufc um knocked out by that knockout in uh, masford Dow in london was just heartbreaking but also lost to woodley uh and um but he beat Whitaker. I mean, he beat um, this guy. I really like to see him. H him versus Israel Adesanya would be really, really interesting. That'd be a stand-up. I can't wait for that fight if that ever does happen. It should happen. Um, but I think he's, he's been dealing with injury recently, so hopefully he gets back fit soon. But there we are, Darren Till, MGC nine. Good start. Card number two. Okay, so it's the Pokemon one. So we did. I think we got an eight on the last one. So I'm not predicting a ten. There we go. We didn't get a ten. This is the Machoke. We had the Machamp in the previous episode. Let's see what we can get. Maybe a nine might be ambitious. Oh, oh, I thought it was a nine. <laughs> it's an eight. An eight. I think we got an eight on the last one as well. So we've got the Machamp and the Machoke. Maybe I'll have to get the, um, what's the other one? The little one, the first evolve. First evolve? First generation one. And then I can have the, the three brothers almost. So I'm trying to film an MGC video here. Bloody hell. Unbelievable. Anyway. Um, oh, you might have seen that. Oh, okay. You've seen it, but it's not It's not the end of the world because it is uh, the Nintendo ones. And we didn't expect to get the, Nite the 10s on the Nintendos. So, we didn't expect to get an a 10 on the Nintendo. We got a 5 on the last one. If we can beat a 5, I'll be happy with that. Can we beat a 5? Let's get a six. Come on. Oh, we got a five on this one as well. Okay, no worries. Doesn't really matter what, what grade this one got. This one's going to sit alongside the link card that I have from the same set, the Kellogg's set. Um, is it Kellogg's? No, it's not the Kellogg's one, is it? No. Um, but it's the Impel Marvel one. Sort of Marvel, Super Mario. What am I on about? I can't even talk today. But yeah, decent. It's actually quite good that it actually got the same grade as the other one as well because um, they'll match. Now, Simpsons one, we're not expecting a 10 on this because we did see a little bit of damage on it, I think, previously. Let's see what we can get. Come on, give, give us a 9 on this one, MGC. Come on. Oh, okay, so we got an 8. I think with the black borders, it's going to be difficult to grade, but you've got the eyeballs glow in the dark card. It is a pretty cool one, to be honest with you, from 1993. One of the early sets, not the earliest but one of the early 90s sets. Um, and I think it's one of the nicest cards, actually, to be honest with you. Um, one of the nicest Simpsons cards I've seen. Anyway, maybe I'm a little bit biased. Now, up next, we have... Oh, okay, so we have... The Wayne Rooney. Now, I'm not sure on this one. I think I'm going to predict a, a 9. I'm hoping it doesn't get lower than an 8, but I'm going to predict a 9 on this one... Oh, oh, okay, it got a 10. We got a 10 on the Wayne Rooney. Not bad at all. I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest with you. Oh, 10 on the Wayne Rooney. That looks nice. The gold goes nice with the um, the card, actually. There we go, our first 10. So, we can only go up from here. Well, actually, we can only go down from here. <laughs> but we got a 10, so it doesn't matter. This submission has been a success. Florian now... Neuhaus, let's get a 10, come on, it's a new one, it's a modern card. We've got a 10 on the Florian Neuhaus. Now, this is an interesting one, because I think this guy is an absolute baller, and I think he flies so far under the radar, it's ridiculous. 
This guy is going to be a fantastic player. So I'm going to hold on to this card. This isn't going to be sold. And I'm going to wait for this guy to be picked up by a Man United or someone like that. But I can see this guy in the Prem in the future. Young midfielder. Got a lot going for him. There we go. Two tens in the same uh, in the same bundle. Now let's see if we can carry on this uh, this record ten. Oh, we got the Giovanni Reina. Now the centering on this was okay, but it wasn't the best. Let's see what we can do. Oh no, the centering actually the centering on the back. I was saying that the centering on the back looks really good. Looks better than Jude Bellingham that we had the other uh, in the other episode. I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna go as low as eight. I'm gonna go nine. Oh, we got a ten. Okay, that's a decent one. Now this had a fair, not a, it had one of the highest print runs um, that the living set had seen at the time. I'm pretty sure it broke the record. Um, it, the record has then been broken since, but that's not bad. A lot of the ones that they sent me were hellishly off center, but a ten on that is not bad at all. So we've got three tens. This is this is a good submission. Now Emil Smith wrote, if we can get a ten on this. Can we get four tens on a row? This would be a beauty if we can get a ten on this because this is the scorecard. I think it was number to thirty-five. I'd be if it doesn't get a ten, I'd be happy with a nine. Let's see what we can get. Oh no way! Four in a row. We got a ten on the number to forty-nine. Emil Smith row. This will go lovely in an Arsenal fans collection. Look at that. The blue lava. What a card that is. Wow. What submission. This has been a way better than the submission than the previous one. Previous one, we only had two tens. This, we've had four. All the modern cards have been doing really, really well for us. Now, next up, Conor McGregor. I'm not expecting a 10 on this, but we did get a 10 on the Habib. I did pull it myself. I would really like a 10 because it is Conor McGregor, but these are hard to grade, as I mentioned in the previous episode, because they are um, die cut, if you want to call them that. Oh no! No way! Five tens in a row. This has been one of the best uh, MGC submissions I think we've had. Wow! Look at that card. That is a beauty. An MGC ten Conor McGregor Crown Royale Chronicles card. Wow! And then for the final card, I have seen it, but you haven't. I didn't mean to see that. Whoops! We have the Ronald Acuna. I have seen it. What do you think? Comment down below. Oh, it's not a 10, but we have already got four, five, ten, four, five, five tens. But we did get a nine on the Ronald Acuna. So that's a nice one, a fairly inexpensive one, but it is still a Ronald Acuna rookie card. I'll wait for this guy to come back from injury before I uh, probably sell this, which will be uh, probably the season coming up, to be fair. Um, so I shouldn't have to wait too long. But what a submission that was. So we got the four tens. Four lovely, lovely tens. Very happy with that, considering we doubled the amount of tens that we had in the previous episode. And then, um, sorry, five tens. Sorry, I'm doing myself a disfavor. Five tens. Um, two eights, a nine, and a five. Is that right? Yeah. Sorry. Two eights, two nines, and a five, and then five tens. The so fifty percent tens. I mean, and considering we submitted two old cards from 1991, 1993, and also from two thousand, that is not bad going. This has been, I think, one of the most successful MGC submissions. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you're watching the series. If you haven't watched all the other episodes, make sure that you go down into the description and look at the playlist. All of the uh, the videos are on there. And uh, yeah, there we are. That that finishes this episode of uh, my MGC grading series. If you are enjoying the series, please do drop a big like on the video. It does really, really help out. Um, if you'd like to become a member, there's plenty of perks available as well. So do check out the channel page on how you can become a member and what perks are available. Things like... Um, emoticons and things like um, exclusive access to videos, polls, uh, exclusive videos, all these sorts of things. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It does really, really help out the channel. Um, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you don't miss a video. And I will see you on the next MGC Grading Series episode. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.